everybody, my name is Eric Hopkins and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're finding me for the very first time, please click that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all the notifications about when I put up new content here on my channel. So I'm doing something a little bit different today as I've been saying in some of my other videos here. I got a GoPro camera and I've mounted it to the dashboard of my car. So I'm available to do some videos throughout the day now. Uh, so I'm not waiting till the next day to discuss all the movie news that could be breaking throughout the day. I'm able to come out in my car on break. So I might discuss a few things there and I can edit and upload them on break as well. Uh, so I can do some things throughout the day here. So with that being said, you may see me do some videos in my car instead of my normal at home studio. So Hopefully, hopefully you guys will enjoy the content I have moving forward. But with that being said, we had a few uh, announcements that were uh, were made over the weekend while I was off visiting family. And one of the things was Cruella 2 is in development now after the success of the first Cru Cruella film in theaters and obviously on Disney Plus via Premier Access. You can check it out now in both locations. Uh, they're going to be bringing Emma Stone back apparently and they're going to be developing uh, Cruella 2. Uh, and I'm not going to ruin this movie here or anything like that for those of you who have not seen it. But if you've seen the film obviously you know they kind of sort of set up a sequel and they even if, if it didn't get a sequel though it actually worked out as a single film or a solo film here whatever you might have uh but uh i think if they do do a sequel that they definitely left open the possibility of doing so and i know emma stone has talked about wanting to do a sequel to this film so uh, and I thought it turned out a lot better than a lot of people might have thought it would. I thought it actually ended up being a pretty decent film. It was it it definitely didn't hit me at first like I wanted it to. I, I at first it took I didn't really care for it, but as the movie progressed, I thought it got better as it went along here. So the fact that they're going to be doing a sequel about this, I think, is a very good thing. And obviously, Disney loves their live action uh, reincarnation, so to speak, of their classic animated movies. I don't know if we're going to be getting like a classic retelling of the 101 Dalmatians because they have done that before with some of the Glenn Close movies and things like that. So will they be taking Emma Stone that direction? I know Emma Stone has talked about how she wants to do the Godfather Part 2 type style, maybe where you tell a sequel, but also tell some flashbacks and maybe getting more backstory into the Cruella character. I'm not sure how they're going to handle it necessarily, but we'll see what they do. Uh, but uh, I think the announcement of a Cruella 2 is a good announcement for Disney. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to see the movies being uh, successful in theaters and on Disney Plus because obviously we all need uh, theaters to do well and hopefully they will continue to do uh, get better now that the pandemic is slowly starting to get better here. So, But the real question here is, guys, what do you guys think about Cruella 2 being announced as being in development by Disney? Comment down below. Let me know. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all the notifications about when I put up new content here on my channel. And until my next video, guys, take care.